Let's factor the equation x squared plus 7x minus 18. And we're going to use these guidelines here to help us. The first thing we need to do is set up a skeleton equation. This is our skeleton equation right here. Then we can add the signs to the skeleton equation. Since I have a positive and a negative, if the last term is negative, we'll put a positive and a negative here in our skeleton equation. Now we can figure out the factors of the last term. That's the 18, negative 18, and that should add up to the middle term. So the factors of 18, we have these three factors here. And really the only one that has a difference of seven is that two and nine. So if I put a nine here and a two here, nine minus two, that'll give me the seven. So we factored the equation x squared plus 7x minus 18. We should check our work though with the FOIL method. We're going to multiply the first terms, the outside, inside, and then last. We end up with, and we can combine these two terms here. And this is the same thing as we started with here. So we did this part correctly. We correctly factored the equation x squared plus 7x minus 18. Let's briefly find the values for x that'll make this work out to be zero here. So we'll have zero equals zero. That's a true statement. We say x plus nine equals zero, x equals a negative nine. Over here we say x minus two equals zero, x equals two. So if you put negative nine in for x, do the math, this will all equal zero. Likewise, if you put two in for x and you do the math, this will all equal zero as well. So we've done this correctly. If you use the quadratic equation, you'll get these same numbers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 7x minus 18. Thanks for watching.